How good is Chelsea's £68 million target Jules Kunde? In this video, I will be breaking down the transfer fee Chelsea are offering and then analysing how good Kunde actually is using statistics and video clips and what kind of a player Chelsea would be getting before I give my verdict on whether this signing is a better deal than Manchester United getting Rafael Varane for £43 million. But before that, for cheap good quality football jerseys, retro jerseys and tracksuits, go over to www.jerseyfever.com, a link will be left in the description and use code Atlantis Football for 5% off. So according to Fabrizio Romano, Chelsea have agreed personal terms with Jules Kunde and are now negotiating a fee with Sofia, offering them 35 million euros, 30 million pounds and Kurt Zuma for the centre-back who has a released clause of 80 million euros which is around 68 million pounds which would mean that Kurt Zuma would be worth around 45 million euros or 38 million pounds in this deal. In terms of Zuma I would probably say he's worth around 30 million pounds in this market so Sevilla may be wanting something more along the lines of 35 to 40 million pounds plus Zuma for Kunde, and I'll come on to how much I think Kunde is actually worth in a bit and then we can assess the deal properly. But what type of player is Jules Kunde? Well the 22 year old who will be 23 in November joined Sevilla from Bordeaux in July 2019 for a fee in the region of 25 million euros. Kunde is a front foot defender meaning that in a centre back pairing I think he's better at being the player to move forward out of the back line to either make an interception or tackle rather than being the player to drop deeper and look to anticipate passes in behind. In terms of his style, he reminds me of Vincent Company in the sense that whilst he does look quite unorthodox and clunky when on the ball, he is still a very good on the ball centre back as well as having the pace and strength to allow him to be a fantastic one on one defender. Kunde is very good at knowing when to step out and apply pressure with the combination of his reading of the game, aggression and acceleration working perfectly and this would definitely suit a wide centre back role in a back three as it would allow Thiago Silva to be the central covering centre back whilst Rudiger and Kunde the two wide centre backs are tasked with anticipating balls into players between the lines. He also has a pace, composure and tackling ability that makes him a very good one-on-one -on -one defender which is needed as a wide centre-back because with the wing-backs advanced up the pitch you need to be able to move into the channels and defend those one-on-ones against the opposition's wide attackers. Kunde is more than capable of doing this having played this role at Sevilla and also played at right-back at some point. Whilst he only completed 0.8 tackles per 90 in La Liga last season, he only got dribbled past 0.4 times per 90, giving him an impressive tackle success rate of 66%. This also shows that whilst Kunde is a front foot active defender, he does pick his moments and is not trigger happy and flying into challenges whenever the opportunity is there, which comes from his composure and game intelligence. Now despite him being just 5 foot 10, he isn't an aerial liability as seen as he wins 60% of his aerial duels and this is because what he lacks in height, he makes up for in positioning. An example is here as the opposition try to play a lofted pass over Kunde, but he reads it, drops off quickly and intercepts the ball with his head. Another example is here as Kunde positions himself perfectly, being goal side but also close enough to the forward to cut off a pass into his feet and when he looks to make the run across Kunde, Kunde has the awareness to read it straight away and then has the pace to get across and close off the chance. This is a situation that Kunde will find himself in a lot as the right side centre back so having this ability definitely shows he suits the position. But Kunde's on the ball ability also makes him a very good fit for Chelsea. Kunde is a very good progressor of the ball through his dribbling ability. We see here that the ball goes into him and he feints to go left before swiveling his body along with some great footwork and then drives past the player breaking the first line of pressure and then playing a forward pass and it's this type of ability that saw Kunde complete the most dribbles of any centre back in La Liga last season with 0.9 per 90. Playing as a right back in a back three, Kunde will have a lot more space to do this and the fact that he has this ball carrying ability is going to allow Chelsea to progress the ball into the final third a lot more often. So we've established that Kunde is a very good front foot ball playing centre back but is he worth what Chelsea are paying for him or could Chelsea find a better deal elsewhere without compromising the quality of the centre back? Well I would say that in this current market Kunde is worth at least £50 million to maybe around £60 million which is €58 million Euros to £70 million Euros. and this is because I think Kunde is already an elite centre back and has the potential to be world class in the next few seasons. He's a similar type of centre back to PK or Ramos because of his active style and combine this with his pace and awareness of movement in behind him and Kunde is a perfect modern day centre back and could have been picked up by sides like Manchester City and Real Madrid and still been a very good signing. Now in terms of the deal I would value Kunde at anywhere between 20 to 30 million pounds plus Kurt Zuma which means that Chelsea's offer does lie 
within my valuation, but just below the value of Kunde's £68 million release clause. However, if Chelsea did have to pay the extra £8 to £10 million for Kunde, I would still regard this as good value for money. People may say that considering Varane only cost Manchester United at most £43 million, Kunde is very overvalued, but you have to factor in that Varane had just one year left on his Real Madrid deal and is six years older, so you can't really compare transfer fee for transfer fee. If Varane had a longer contract, he'd probably be worth around £70 million and £90 million plus if he was Kunde's age. I would also say that Kunde and Varane are similar types of centre-backs, whilst also being on a similar level in terms of their current ability, which is just below that world-class bracket, but both could easily move into the world-class bracket next season and solidify themselves at that level, which is why both are worth so much. So Manchester United did get the better deal, but both sides have got top-level centre-backs if Chelsea can complete this deal. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that video, remember to subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications, give the video a like, go to the description to check out some of my other videos and for three months free on a 12 month deal from expressvpn click my link in the description and also put your thoughts in the comment section and follow me on instagram and twitter as well